What's up, guys? How is everybody doing? Like we're having a nice little possible little run here. We're gonna um just gotta take a look at a bad case scenario real quick, which is still not horrible, but um let me just look at this as a bear flag real quick. I don't believe it is, but keep it in mind. <clears throat> right here could be a bull flag or a bear flag I'm sorry and the measured move if that is to break down guys would be around the 11.6 area so keep that in mind it's possible I don't think it's going to happen um, but we got to keep in mind both case scenarios right other than that I think everything's looking good where does that yeah, see the 55 EMA on the daily is right at the uh, 11 around the 11 4 so anyway how's everyone doing man 11,088 is close enough for the test of the Adam and Eve neckline I do believe so Steve um, you know I was getting a lot of flack for you know people saying you were calling 13 but blah 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 it didn't happen well if you guys were paying attention to the videos, um, I played a little part of one that was showing you what I thought was going to happen and we were going to come back down and test this. And I've been saying that for a week. If you belong to the Discord, you'll know I've been saying that in there. Um, I was telling everyone watch for 11,050 is what I was saying to watch for a dip to. So. We're probably going to put in a big move during the live stream, Zachary says. Joel doing great now that Savvy is streaming and Bitcoin is doing the thing. Yeah, let's uh keep an eye on it. I'd like to see it break above this. Um, I'm going to look at it another way real quick. This is the way I was looking at it earlier. Move this down. <clears throat> And we'll take that measured move from here. And I was calling, I was saying earlier in the chat in the Discord group that if we broke up here, we're probably going towards the 11.8 or to the 12.1 range, which would be the top of this bull flag again. Um, if we did come up here, I do see it possible that we float around in here for a little bit, create a bull flag, and go up from there. Definitely a possibility. I'm just looking at what might be happening here, guys. But it is looking good no matter what. I think, you know, Bitcoin's pretty damn strong right here. Rainier thinks it's still going to drop. Uh, let's see. I'll get in the chat here for a little bit and say, hey, what's up, Perry? Hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, so what's your guys' thoughts? Up, down, what's going on? Camera broke or something? What's going on with it? Is there a problem with the camera? I have not watched Sam I Am's video about Litecoin. I'm not even sure who that is. The focus is gone on the camera, huh? Oh, okay. It's good. Gotcha. So anyway, yeah. Let's see what happens here. I'd like to see... I'd like to see a break of this 11.550. Um, otherwise, you know, like I said, this could be a bear flag forming here. Although I don't think it is. Seems to be playing out pretty nice. I guess it's still possible we get a we get a wick down here to the eleven thousand fifty, but we'll see. St I'm a cutie said still forty six thousand end of the year target. Yes, that's still my target. Right there. Forty six K end of the year. 
am sticking to that, guys. Most definitely. It's actually playing out beautifully. And if, you, if you've been paying attention, this trend line here, I said I do not see it breaking, and I stick to that. I don't think this trend line is going to break, guys. I could be wrong. You know, we could come back down, test the 55 EMA again, but I don't think so. Lee, he basically saying Litecoin is dead, only Charlie Lee working on it. Yeah, that, that shit's a bunch of shit. Um, Litecoin's fine. Litecoin's usable and workable the way it is. Um, it's not one of those projects promising you the world and a bunch of stupid BS. Guys, I'm just going to go out and say it. I believe most of the altcoins, the small cap altcoins, and they're all a bunch of hype. It's just like a penny stock. They pump it up, get everybody to buy into it so they can dump it and go buy Bitcoin. That's my opinion and my thoughts on it. Bitcoin has a lot of work to do to make up for this correction. And I believe it will in a big way. Big way. I think we're going to get a hell of a pump. If we can break this bigger bull flag here. Like I said, my targets on that are from... Anywhere from 16,250 to 18,500 on the pump out of here. <clears throat> and the big move, I mean, the measurement of the whole big flag is right around the 20, 21, $22,000 range. Actually, let me get rid of that. Yeah, that's my measured move off of measuring this whole. Well, actually, I don't have it in here. I have that on the daily, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, measuring this whole thing as a bull flag. Bringing it up to the top of the breakout, 21,700. We could see that as soon as November. Maybe sooner. Let's see how it works out. Sparky said, I agree with you on the altcoins. <clears throat> Would you pump more into Bitcoin at these prices? Not financial advice, but hell yeah, I would. I do. <laughs> do your own do your own research, guys. You see what my thoughts are on it. I'm not telling anybody to, you know, invest on my opinion, but do your own. I do believe in, you know, what's going on. I I said it, I do believe that's the end of the year target. And that's just for this year. I think it's going to go a hell of a lot higher in the next year or two after. Buy the fear, man. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing. You know, when people are fearful in the market, <clears throat> that's when you buy. I mean, buy these, in my opinion, buying these red big drops is the way to go. If you're not trading, I mean, if you're, you're dollar cost averaging, you don't know how to trade, you know, that's dollar cost averaging is the best way to go. And never put in more than you're willing to lose, man. What's up, Anthony? Yeah, I still believe this, this bull flag is going to play out. And if you look. The volume's still declining <clears throat> heavily. As you can see, it, it just like it did right here in this consolidation zone. You know, it was forming a pattern in there, broke out, just like it did in this one here. Same thing, and then broke out. I believe this one's going to be a pretty damn big breakout. Thanks, James. Steve Hub said dollar cost average and hold. That's a, a great strategy if you don't, you know, if you don't want to trade. Elf done. Do you use Instagram? No, I don't. I um I have a Twitter account. I get on there once in a while, but Instagram I do not. 
Anthony says, don't listen to all the Litecoin FUD. That'll be a meme in two weeks. That's why I don't believe, I don't, I don't listen to the news and the hype and all that crap. I, di I just, it's all in the charts, man. Everything is already built in the charts. Pioca said, if your prediction for the end of the year will be true, that only means that McAfee prediction is possible, in my opinion. It is possible. It's possible. I don't know that that McAfee's or McAfee or however you say his damn name. I don't know if, about the million dollars by 2020, I think he said. I mean, I guess it's possible, but that's, who knows? You know, nobody thought Bitcoin was going to get to 20000 in 2017. Zachary, I always appreciate your charting. Very inf informational. Thanks, man. Well, I said agreed with LTC FUD. Yeah, right when it posted, I started saying FUD. I mean, just people jump all over that crap. And, and Litecoin works great the way it is. I mean, of course, they're going to do more improvements, but... It, it's an actual working thing. It's not promising the world and, you know, this whole new blockchain and all this other shit, like all the other scams that are trying to get you to buy into it so they can dump it on your ass and buy Bitcoin. Um, I feel the same about those as I do all these scammy YouTubers that are charging ridiculous amounts of money to buy their courses that are just teaching you the basics, which aren't going to do shit unless you practice anyway. Um, and you can find all the information they give you free all over the internet and pay them for the shit vi VIP. Yeah. And you're, all you're doing is paying for their drug habits and their, uh, gambling habits and just lavish lifestyles while you're giving them your hard earned Bitcoin and money. That's insane. Jeff Nelson loved seeing you on crypto zombie show the other day. Yeah. I, I like Kyle, Crypto Zombie. He's a he's a a down to earth guy. He's a, he's a damn good dude, man. We got to have a you know pretty long conversation back and forth, kind of get to know each other um, before and after the video. And yeah, he, he's a he's a stand up dude. I like that guy. Some of the YouTubers are going to get blasted on Twitter. What do you mean, Anthony? Steve Hubs. I love Steve Hubs' analysis. Here's what's he saying now. Bitcoin has been up 0.78% all or per day since April 31st. If it maintains that rate, we'll be, be near 35,000 by the end of the year. 46, man, 46. The shit talkers, yeah. It's funny, too, you've seen these guys. I won't mention no names, but some of these YouTubers that are pretty influential, and, you know, they're calling for higher highs a week ago. Now they're calling for lower lows, and they just keep changing it. I have not changed my view one bit. This is still, in my opinion, a parabolic bull run. I mean, look at it. Can't freaking, you can't say it's not a parabolic bull run. Look at that. McAfee said by the end of 2020, yeah. Like I said, man, you never know. The dude is a smart guy. The correction since June 26 has affected the end of the year price. A good pump in price is coming. Weeks will change the end of the year price. Yeah, I think I think we're about to get it. <clears throat> I think we're about to get a damn good pump here. Um yeah, I just, that bull flag, that thing makes a lot of sense. And if you guys have been watching, you know my targets. This one here, just measuring the the falling channel, which is the bull flag. Just the measurement of that gets us to about 16,250. We measured this short staff here as a flagpole. 
That one gets us to the 18.5. And measuring this whole thing is the flagpole. And that gets us to around the $21,000 to $22,000 range. And that's not my end of the year target. I think it'll go much higher. <clears throat> they got paid to bash LTC. I was saying that um, when Chico Crypto posted about it, you know, I, I, I tweeted him, how much did Roger pay you and some other stuff? He got all pissed off and, and then he goes on and on and on. And so I, I just quit talking to him because he's just, he's insane. You think we front run the 11K test to Adam and Eve? Yeah, I did say we could front run it. Um, keep an eye on it though. I mean, we could still go down there. We could still get a quick wick, a quick wick down there. But, but yeah, definitely could have front ran it. I mean, I I don't see it going lower than that. Um, unless I like I said, that could have been, you know, this could be a bear flag. Worst case, you know, come down to the 11.6, 11.5 range. But I've or the 10, 6, 10, 5 range, but I don't see it happening. I believe we're going to play around up here for a little bit and eventually bust the top of this flag. And I know I had said I thought 13,000 by this weekend. Um, it's still possible. I mean, we could wake up tomorrow and it'd be at 13,000, but, but either way, that's why I hate putting time on any, you know, on anything on the market. NMD 46k would be freaking amazing. Prepare to be amazed, in my opinion. Will we ever see a four-digit Bitcoin again? Nobody knows, but I highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. Tales of the crypt crypto. I think bots and algos are controlling the price right now. I don't. Bots and algos may control the price of the day trading action, but it doesn't control the price of the real action. I mean, that's day trader crap. Um, that Day traders basically just help keep liquidity in the market by getting liquidated all the time. Gregory Dean, thanks for the tip, man. Can you explain why Bitcoin went down when most YouTube PA dudes said it was going to 12K? Um... Uh, there's no, I mean, there's no way to explain it. The market's the market, I guess, you know, <clears throat> you just got to kind of um, start to learn to do the charts on your own. And we were watching this zoom in a little bit. I don't know why the hell I'm on a three hour. I don't use a three. But we were watching this. And as this was going, I told people to watch for a fake out because that's what happens a lot of times in these triangles, which ended up being the retest of the Adam and Eve neckline. And, and you know, I was expecting that. I was looking for that. And I kept telling everybody that. Especially if you belong in the Discord. I've been saying it for, you know, for a week. Steve Hubs, 13,000 will come in about 15 days if the 78% per day price prediction is true. Sounds legit. Can you do your breakdown of the Adam and Eve pattern again? Fave top five. I can. And again, guys, um,. If I miss your question, just ask it again. Try not to flood the, the chat too much over and over, but it's hard to keep track of all the questions um, and do charting. That's why I don't do as much charting when I'm on this. But here's a breakdown of the Adam and Eve. Uh, the neck line was right here. Actually, you know, it could have been the 11,080, but I just had it at the 11,044. Let me change the color of that so you guys can see it a little bit better um but this would be the eve right here or the adam i'm sorry the adam go back up to the neckline and then the eve is rounded here and we broke the neckline right here at the like i said around the eleven thousand fifty. this isn't exact but we broke it there and once we broke out 90% of the time they come back down, retest the neckline before continuing up. And that's a confirmation of the Adam and Eve. Um, yeah, and when I was on Zombie, you know, he asked me uh, my target for the more immediate. And I gave him the $13,000 target and said by the end of the weekend. And after the show, I, um, 
I texted him and said, damn, I forgot to tell everything I wanted to because it was a little out of my element being on his show. Um, if you noticed, I clicked over to the chart my screen share and never clicked back. It was just something I'd never done before. But anyways, I had forgot to mention in there about the Adam and Eve retest. And I had been talking about that prior to the video in my video. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out there too. David Gelfin, my, my feeling is that Roger and Craig are in a relationship. I'm sure they're still in cahoots. They're both trying to do the right thing. They're both trying to take the Bitcoin name. I mean. Crypto Bull News at Craig Neve. I agree. Whales definitely manipulate the market and are always looking for opportunities to do it. All markets are manipulated. That's part of the market. It is the market. <clears throat> Mitch Ray is cool, but he's pretty arrogant. They're messy drunk too. I know. I think a lot of uh, the guys on YouTube are, are messy drunks. JT, hey Savvy, I joined the Discord. I can't see your trades in there. They're in the open trades. Scroll up, you'll see. I think my last one I got into was 11.7. I had my buys in for 11,100 since last week. They're in there. Check it out. I don't day trade. If you're looking for Kirby day trade bullcrap, um, I don't do day trading. I do longer swings. Faith asked Roger and Harry how to get a wrench in the name highlighted in blue. They're uh they're moderators for the group. That's how they get the wrench. Greg Neve, less manipulation will occur when the Bitcoin distribution is more evenly spread. Yeah, definitely. Something else I want to look at. This is kind of off topic, guys. But I had this line drawn in here now since gold was down at 1450. And we are getting resistance there. You know, we could see gold come back down and retest this before continuing up. But if it does break this 15, 000, or 1525 range, if it breaks that trend line and then comes back down to test it, um, it definitely could be going to make new all time highs. Worst case scenario, this is a, a bear flag here and gold goes all the way back down to 400. That would be interesting, huh? When everybody dumps gold and goes into Bitcoin? No, I'm just joking. I don't know that that would happen, but. But yeah, it is looking good, definitely. John, 46K, end of the year. Savvy, the earth called you, need you to come back down. That's funny you say that, because people were saying the same thing to people that were calling even getting to 10,000 this year. So we'll see, John. BTC close over 11.5 is fire. Reject 11.5, we go down. I don't know. Some uh, some people crack me up that they can even be bearish looking at a chart like this. It's, it's insane. Alexandra, hi man. The video today you said you are posting some of your entries in Discord. Which channel would that be? Can't find any trades posted. It's in trade positions, open trade positions. They're in there. And again, if you're looking for day trades, I do not day trade. I don't believe in day trading. I think it's crap. I do longer swing trades. What's up, Boston? Only the fundamentals will move BTC higher. I I don't understand what people people think like that either. So when the flag points upward, it's a bear flag, and when it points downward, it's a bull flag. If so, then that little upward flag would mean broke it's going down not necessarily it's not always they don't always play out they're like 75 percent of the time 70 percent of the time but a lot of times if you're in a full bull, bull market a bear flag can just like this bull flags are not usually pointed up like this was here and you see what happened 
Um, yeah, so it, you, we're in a parabolic bull market, guys. That's like the guys trying to count this shit in Elliott Waves, man. You can't do it. Count, count this in Elliott Waves right here. What the hell is the Elliott Wave count? I mean, we're in a parabolic bull market. It's going to dwarf this one, in my opinion. It is going to make this look like nothing. What do you think about the media suddenly bullish on Bitcoin? I think, like I had been saying, you guys, that's why this looks like it's going to play out. The media is starting to talk about it. Everything's starting to come together. That's, that's what's going to push this. In my opinion, guys, that is everything is working out beautifully. It's just screaming this chart, this pattern. Let me get it. You guys can see. Yeah, it's just everything is working out awesome. We've been following this since back here in January, and people were calling me absolutely crazy. Right here is when we started doing this, and it's just playing out freaking perfect. Dorothy, what's up, Dorothy? Paul Bear, what's up, man? Good to see you live, man. Push Bitcoin savvy. What's up, Gio? Looks similar to November 2017 right now. Um, let me back this up a little. John Roberts, thanks for the tip, man. Thanks for your experience and sharing everything. No problem, man. I appreciate you stopping by, and I appreciate all your guys' support. I mean, this wouldn't be possible without you, man. Um, definitely don't forget to give a giant thumbs up too to the channel, but I just wanted to look at this real quick. He had said it looks like November, um, of this doesn't look like November. This looks like freaking way down in here somewhere, uh, maybe August or June area. I, this thing is gonna pop guys. What's up Moonlander? Anthony, are you bearish now, Anthony? GA Crypto, what's up, Sabby? Georgia, this year's this year's the beginning. Hit the like button, peeps. <clears throat> Savvy, after forty six K is BTC fall. That um, that's the other thing, you know, and no one knows exactly how it's going to play out, but it could do the exact same thing as gold. It could go way up here to a new all time high. Come back down to the, I believe once we pass this 20,000, we'll never go back down to it again, guys. Um, and this blue line, I just, is kind of a guess right here that once we go past that, hit the all time high, like gold did here, come back down, retest that blue line. So we could go up to 46, come all the way back down to 25 before continuing up. And then after that, it's uncharted territory because we'll be ahead of gold. <coughs> Anthony said, permable. How long a bear after 46 top? And again, 46, you know, that that could vary a little bit. We could, we'll get a little bit closer. That's just going off the gold. Um, it could go higher, but that's that's just my call for the end of the year and once it gets up that range i mean it's going to be just like people had a hard time calling the top of twenty thousand. you know and i don't believe that's going to be the end i believe it's going to continue on and i showed you guys in the weekly rsi actually let me go to this one <clears throat> if we look at the rsi in the weekly this is a let me get this down a little bit and we'll look at the log chart I don't really like using the log but it helps us be able to see the whole thing here so I'm going to do it for now but if we take a look at that 2013 bull run right here 2017 shrink this down a little bit stretch this out 2013 bull run 2013 2017 2017 I drew the this trend line on both these RSI's and you can see what happened here I believe that's the same thing gonna happen here and not exact like a lot of people are trying to get it with the same price action it's not gonna be the same price action you're gonna have a better shot looking at the RSI the RSI is the only true indicator if you ask me all the other indicators are 
unnecessary noise. It's RSI is the only true one, but right here, I'm pointing this out. Look at this area here, this area here. I believe it's going to be the same type thing, guys. Something like this. We may have another two years of bull run coming. Do you ever draw on XBT charts? XBT is XBT is Bitcoin. I think about a third. Anthony said, I think about a 35% drop from 46. People's heads will spin. How long do you sleep it a night? Um, I don't know, five hours, four hours, something like that. Depending. Um, depending. Through the week's a little different than the weekends, obviously. But I usually get up about five in the morning. That way I have enough time to make a video before work. But anyway, yeah, that's the, the weekly. And we've talked about that. You know, at the end of every video, I kind of show that. But this gives you a little bit different view of it. Um, and then if you look at that 46,000 target, it doesn't look so high when you look at it like this. So, like I said, after that, probably come back down and then blow through it. Let's look at uh, look at the monthly. Same thing. Here's the monthly chart with the monthly RSI. I have the four arrows representing the lows in the RSI. In both the 17 bear market and or the 18 bear market and the 13 14 bear market right here and you can see what happened the, like i've been saying this i believe is just going to be a lot quicker uh move up do you think we'll retest the adam and eve shoulder or is it up from here uh we already did have a i mean you could consider that a retest that we already did um you know, we could go back down and test it one more time. That's what I was talking about earlier. I don't know if you're here, but um, yeah, I I mean, it's possible. And like I said, too, keep in mind, this could be a bull flag form in here. I don't think it is uh, because this wick pretty much invalidated it, in my opinion. Usually a wick inside or outside a channel um, invalidates that channel, so... But it could be, like I said, you got to keep up, keep in mind, if we do come back down and it breaks past that $11,000 range, we could be heading towards a 10.6. But I don't, I don't think that's happening. I think we're going to, this could be the test. You know, this could be a valid test of that Adam and Eve, and, and it's up from here. Like I said, the, the major confirmation is the break of this bull flag here. I don't know how this damn thing gets moved on me. I think when I, I look at it on my phone, I kind of screw up my. But anyway, yeah, I do believe once we blow the, through this flag, it's going to be. Again, we could go up to 13, come all the way back down, test the top of this flag before continuing up. So. What do you think about VWOP? I have no idea what that is, man. The weekly RSI comparison in Bitcoin with the last bull lens one to believe this could last two more years definitely man have i talked about litecoin no i haven't talked about litecoin um we'll take it we can take a look at it um everything's still the same as my morning video um on litecoin i'm still looking for eventually breaking the top of this and my target of that it's 137 and the target of the Falling broadening wedge, target of that is 172 area. Um, we had already been watching this blue line. Like I said, if this blue line doesn't hold, if it does break down past this blue trend line, 62 or 62 bucks is my absolute worst case scenario. But um, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Looking on the daily. This is another thing I wanted to point out real quick, guys. Now go back to the chat. Um, the daily RSI. We had been talking about this playing out for quite some time. Again, if you're asking questions, I don't see them. I just, I'm trying to point this stuff out real quick. So you guys know what I'm watching and you can follow along. Um, but I've been looking at this in the RSI as a inverted head and shoulders here. Came up, it tested the trend line up here. 
Another inverted head and shoulders. Tested the trend line. Another inverted head and shoulders. And I do believe we're going up from here and going to test that trend line. That'll help you judge the top of this move. And I'll, sh I'll explain why here. Let me get this crap off. I don't know, whenever I use my drawing tool, it doesn't just turn off like the other ones. It stresses me out. Anyways. But as you can see, each time we tested the top of that trend line. And if you look too, we're making... Higher lows in the price, lower lows in the RSI. That's hidden bullish divergence. And this helped us call the top of this move. This helped call the top of this move. And right here helped us call the top of that move. And if you guys were following along, you know, we were looking at 13.6. It went to 13.8. We were 200 bucks off. Oh, dang. But, and now when we're done with this move, you know, we could be to 16 to, 16 to 18,000. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Watch the RSI. I'm telling you, the RSI is so freaking important. Don't you don't need all the crazy indicators, man. I'm in. Can ETF approve? Of course it can. And I know a lot of people say they just keep pushing off, pushing off, and they're thinking it'll be years now. But they're not gonna. They're not. When they do approve it, you're not gonna know till the day of. They'll buy everything they want to buy, get everyone they want to get in before they tell the public. Lumigas, you're the best. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Thanks for tuning in, man. Orlean, Circle Boy says he will start to buy at 6K, but Bitcoin going to 18 in a sucker's rally. Circle Boy is exactly that. He's a boy. I kind of felt sorry for him streaming live. I guess he did a live stream when it got by his end of his circle and then he moved the circle. I felt bad for him, but if he keeps going, I don't feel bad for the dude at all. I think he's like a 12 year old kid that, that drinks beer on his live streams and he's just, just a kid, man. Charging people 20 bucks to look at his charts, which is absolutely ridiculous. Bitcoin ETF will be approved. I believe it will be. Um, I don't think it, it'll it matter, but I'm sure it's going to be approved. Savvy, do you expect a parabolic move when back rises? Um, I just talked about that early, earlier. We're in a parabolic move. I mean, yeah, we're in a parabolic move. I mean... People think that means it's just going to keep going up and up and up and up. But if you look at the big picture, this thing's parabolic as hell. <clears throat> Rod Santos said ETF will be approved any day now. What's up, Crypto Tito? This dude, I'm Norwegian. He just can't accept we are not in a bull market. For all I know, he's still right, though. Nobody knows anything, really. If you can't say this is a bull market, I, I, don't, I don't understand people that are saying that they're not convinced yet. But I guess, you know, that's what makes the markets. There's bears and there's bulls. You got to have both. Today's bears are going to be tomorrow's bulls, period. Does prolonged consolidation increase your target at all? No, I mean, because when you look on the big scale, um, no, it doesn't prolong it at all. It's all part of the... I just don't get it, guys. <laughs> it's This is what I'm following. This is what I'm going by, right? How does that not make sense? To some people. 
I mean, I get it. There's bears that don't want it to go because they missed the bottom and they're bummed. I get it. I get it. I feel sorry for you guys. That sucks. You want lower lows, but it's not going to happen, man. You know, I feel for you. You screwed up. You were listening to hyperwave theory and other people that were calling ridiculous lows. Bobby Crypto said Tony Vase will become a bull savvy. Yeah, when it's too late. I, but he thinks his his theory of when to call the bull market is a good one. But I see losing his ass. I mean, I don't know. He leaves a lot of money on the table. I'll say that. <clears throat> Rod Santos, no one can destroy Bitcoin. That's exactly right. Any opinion on Bat? I mean, Bat's all right. It's got a good idea and stuff. Um, you know, I, I support the uh the brave browser i use the brave browser that's what i'm using now works awesome for charting if you guys are doing charts you can open up a lot of charts at once and it doesn't lag um you don't have all the you know pop-ups and commercials and even when you're watching youtube videos you don't got to watch the commercials then by the way smash the likes appreciate it take a second out smash the likes tick the notification bell make sure you get notified when i post videos and check out in the description box below the video, I do have affiliate links in there and a link to our Discord group. Definitely check the Discord group out. It's totally free. Check out the affiliate links. Um, there's some exchange links in there that you get some bonuses if you sign up for. There's Ledger link in there to get your Ledger uh, hard wallets and keep your crypto safe. Keep them off the exchanges. Yeah, and the... There's also, I have the, the, the exchange I use because I'm in America is Kraken. Can't get no in trouble using it. It is lower leverage. I can do five times leverage on it. Um, I do have a link to that down below, an affiliate link. And they also own what is called Crypto Watch, which is a platform that you can put all of your, all of your exchanges on one and keep track of everything on one, man. It's an awesome idea. Check it out. There's a, I think it's a 15 day free trial down there. Um, it's pretty new. Check it out. Like I said, 15 day free trial. I'm a cutie said or I'm a cute says I'm in cute. I don't know how to say the name. I'm just going to say I'm in Bitcoin dominance can be more than 80%. That's a question. Yeah. There's nothing saying it can't. Brian Wallace bull markets have V drops and bears get excited for two days until it spikes higher. Yeah. Every little drop the bears come out in and a lot of YouTubers and just say, you know, start calling ridiculous bottoms. And then you got the guys that are trying to sell you their shit come out and say, oh, doom and gloom, the crypto abyss is coming or this. And they get everybody scared and try to get them to buy their shit. Oh, it's annoying, man. I got to quit talking about that. That shit gets me worked up. I get pissed about it. It's ridiculous. I just feel bad for all the new people. There's so many new people come in and and just believe that shit and and throw their money at them and then they're gone you're scared from crypto forever Look at these lines here let's zoom back into that trend line on the the bitcoin daily here like i said i don't believe that line will break and we got nice support off it guys very nice support Do you believe in fib circles at all, TBD? I don't use them. I don't need them. I don't care for them. So, I mean, they may work for some stuff, but no, I, I think it's just a ugly circles on a chart. I mean, if you look, honestly, just do a little experience, experiment real quick. Well, let's just take a circle tool, right? We'll just draw a, a circle. We'll place it somewhere in here. That's not an actual circle, but... It doesn't really matter. It'll still show you my point. But I'm just gonna draw something in there, put it over here, and see if anything matches up. 
Oh, look at that. Right there, that line looked like it matched up pretty good. Um, actually, I made it too big. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Rod Santos, thanks for the tip, man. Good luck to all of us for a run to 46K. Keep up the good work with the live stream, Savvy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the tip, brother. Um, but, yeah, anyway, that's what I was doing. But, yeah, you can just make random circles and then just zoom in and say, oh, yeah, it, it, it was support over here. It broke up. It tried to break through right there, but got rejected. Came down. Oh, look, it rode the, the circle here and then broke down. I mean, it, you're getting up and down sideways move it, movement. It's going to match up with circles somewhere. I just, I don't know. Some people. And basically, I mean, he's got a good hustle going. He's got people believing him and keep tuning into his channel and giving him 20 bucks to look at his, be able to access his charts. So another form of scam. At least he isn't charging, you know, uh, half a Bitcoin a month or whatever to, to look at his charts. But still, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Your next overhead resistance. Last week, you nailed it. Um, I guess, I guess I'd be looking at this right here, 13, 13, five, 13, six, somewhere in there. The white line is different from other exchange. Which white line are you talking about? This one here? If you go off of these supports right here, that's how you'd come up with that white line. And I'm on, this one is on Bitstamp, and I do that because it's longer, you know, they've got the longest data. You shouldn't underestimate Fibonacci levels. I don't, but if you're, if you're drawing the trend line right, um, the Fibonacci levels are gonna line up anyways i mean period i just don't i don't have to use them i'll use them for verification once in a while but the less you can use and get better with using the less the, the more accurate you're going to be and the less confusion you're going to give yourself with pulling out this indicator that indicator these fibs that this that and you got 17 different ways it can go and indicators are saying 20 different things 20 different indicators unnecessary noise man Look, some of the best traders in the world, like actual real traders, not day traders, not, you know, swing traders and what, they can just look at a chart, draw a couple lines, use just support and resistance, and they can call it way better than these guys that are using 50,000 indicators. If you think about it, the best traders and the people that have made the most money and in investors and stuff in the world, they didn't have this stuff. And they're not probably not teaching their mentors to use this stuff. They're probably teaching them the classic way, which is the tried and true way without all this shit. I mean, no, I don't give signals. I think you should learn on your own, put your own effort in. Um, you know, I, I show some of the basics. I have some little short tutorials and I'll probably be making some more. Um, but yeah, that, that signal shit, if you're going to be that lazy that you don't want to put in the work, you probably shouldn't be trading, man. I mean, seriously, if you're going to pay for someone to give you signals and then bitch at them when they're wrong. Crypto Watch weekly closes on Wednesday. Seems dumb. Is it? I don't even use my Telegram except to, I, there's a few people I talk to on Telegram, but I don't really use it other than that. Three Harsh, uh, there's a guy on, a guy called Crypto Silent in your Discord. Yeah, I, uh, I already banned him. Selling bullshit. Anybody that tries to, to shill shit on the Discord, just be banned. I mean, honestly, you guys should know that when you come in. Some people will get warned, but but I mean, if you're blatantly shilling something, you're just gonna get banned. Or if you're just coming in being an asshole, just getting banned. I already banned him, Harry, <coughs> earlier today.
Weekly close on trading view is 5 p.m. Pacific time today. Yeah, weekly close is um, what in ten an hour and ten minutes from now, eight o'clock Eastern. What price do we have to be bullish on the weekly close? Um, look at the weekly. Yeah, I'd say above this. Um, zoom in a little dollar. Say a close above eleven thousand four hundred and eighty. That's on Bitstamp. Let's look on Coinbase. I don't know why I'm still on Bitstamp. Yeah, we'll look at the weekly close on Coinbase. Would be around eleven thousand four hundred and eighty. Same thing. Close above that will be great, in my opinion. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Sri. Anytime you see anybody shilling stuff in the Discord, just notify me or one of the the moderators, and, and we'll get rid of it, man. We're trying to keep people safe in there. Um, obviously, scammers can get in there and instant message people, and you know, unless unless you guys let us know that they're giving you instant messages we don't know but you can let the moderators know and we'll get rid of them um, copy and paste any weird in from in instant messages and and post it and let us know Hessel what's up 300 million people in the US and only 300 watching are we gonna be the new number or the new 1% right Derek <laughs> Don't forget to smash the likes, guys. Looking good, about 11.5 on Coinbase now. Yeah, I'm looking at that. See how it closes. We got another little over an hour. Obviously, I'm not going to be live, but. Bagster, Jacqueline, Savvy doesn't do any but buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin and Litecoin. No, I do. I, I swing trade and I, I do leverage swing trading, um, but I hold my Bitcoin and Litecoin and just continue to buy more. Margarita, hi, Savvy, do you think we drop to 8 or 9K to match the gold chart still plays out? If we drop, I don't think we're going to drop to 8 or 9K. I highly, 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 highly doubt that. Um, and if we did... I don't know. I'd pull that back up and look at it real quick. But no, I, I just I don't see that happening. You must be watching some hella fudsters. I know people want that CMA gap crap. This is a totally different market, guys. Eight or nine k. I mean, yeah, it could still. It could go down to eight and still play out, you know, the bottom of this flag, but I highly doubt it. I mean, that just looks ridiculous, to be honest. Once Bitcoin gets a big run, then everybody's going to say they were calling it when everybody got bearish every time we had a $500 drop and they got a million followers that still believe them. I don't understand that shit, but oh well. It is what it is. Crypto Bull News. Savvy, can you explain the close and when and why it's at a certain time? Um that's just how the how the how the market's designed. I mean, um I was, honestly that'd be a long ass conversation. So just uh ask in the Discord. I'll be in the Discord after this and, and try to go through it with you, maybe send some links in to show you. Um, but yeah, and the reason the closes are such a big deal is because traders watch them. I mean, that's, that's four dislike to this video. Always. Usually I get the four to six of them before the videos even start. I mean, literally, but it, it's, it's good to know that they hate me that much that they turn their notification bells on just to get on and give me a thumbs down. I love it.
Charles Charles Jacoby or Jacoby. I just got into crypto and I can already tell that Savvy is one of the few genuine dudes reason why I follow. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just try to be honest, give you my honest opinion and you know, I I could be shilling so much shit. I get emails constantly offering me money to shill their projects, their shit, their junk. And I just if I if I you know, do anything It'll be because I believe in it, and um, that's why I have the affiliate links. I mean, obviously, we got to bring in some money to to help with the time it takes to make the videos and stuff. If, and as long as you guys are using the affiliate links, and you know, that that's that's gives me enough to keep going and and uh, keep giving you these videos for free and free content. I'm Norwegian. Savvy haters are fans. They just got another way of letting you know. Right on. Savvy, I believe. Hessel said, Savvy, I believe if we close the week above 11,500, the more probability we're going up, up, up. Up oh, for sure. If you don't have haters, then you're doing something right. If you don't have haters, then you're doing something then you aren't doing something right, said Derek. Right on. Yeah, haters are fuel to my fire, man. I follow a couple really good traders on YouTube. You, on YouTube, you are one of the most accurate, especially calling numbers, so I totally believe your predictions. Yeah, man, a lot of them got a lot. I don't say a lot of them, but most of them will draw these. They'll do, they'll do something like this. Um... If I can find something, yeah, they'll do something like this. They'll they'll draw a box from some support and resistance and say, "This is my whoops out of there." They will. This is what I was trying to do. They'll draw this area and in that box. We're gonna go somewhere in there, and then they'll say somewhere between. There's our support. There's our resistance, and. We'll go somewhere in here, but you can join my VIP and watch my trades and I'll tell you how to do it, blah, blah, blah. I mean, what the fuck is that? It is ridiculous and people fall for it. That's the worst part about it. Craig Neve watched Crypto Savvy's videos from January to February this year. He made some good calls that we had hit bottom. Yeah, I'd been calling it the whole time, man. Iman says BTC equals gold. Yes, sir. Orleans, man's man haters were hitting you hard the other day, unfairly, I think, saying you're only bullish. Yeah. And and you know what? I try to point that out. Why the hell would you be bullish? Are, are they not looking at the same charts? Are they you know they're day traders, they're playing freaking fifty dollar moves and crap. I don't do that shit. I don't care about the little moves. It doesn't affect me at all. <clears throat> Savvy, did you see the article that some billionaire wanted to buy up the rest of the Bitcoin? Yeah, they've been talking about that for a while. I don't know how much, you know, I, I would get into that. Jimmy J said, well, and Kirby says it's probably going to go down hard in a H and HPs. I don't know what that is. Growth punk. It's a bull market, man. Egg freaking exactly. Kirby's always a day behind everyone else. Also, Kirby always says it's a live stream. It's never a live stream. They're always pre recorded. I think he pre records a couple and waits till a move happens and then he can put his video out and say, you know, that's why I was saying this or whatever. I don't know. The, the guy's just a scam, period. Chelfier says, I see Adam and Eve on the daily RSI. This one here. Could be, but this is a little low. I guess if we come up here, uh, retest it here, it could be considered an Adam and Eve, I guess. 
like I said, keep an eye on this flag, guys. That's what that's that's the main deal here. Smash those likes, guys, and use the affiliate links if you can. Harry, you ever drink Bang? I saw what looked like an energy drink, and those are fire. I drink Monster. Um, I, that's it. The Green Monster. That's the only ones I like. Geo, don't even worry about it. It's a waste of your time. Kirby gets all his trades right according to YouTube. Yeah, right. I posted some of his VIP members have made videos, Matthew. It, go in my Discord and go through the video section. I posted a couple of them in there and and watch. They showed his actual trades. And in May of this year, he was negative like 15% for the year. Only you, Crown, and Mitch Ray are live. Yeah, I'm not going to stay live long. Um, probably be getting off here pretty quick. But like I said, it's it's looking pretty bullish, guys. What's up, Matthew Clifford? Xenophilius. Hey, Savvy, what are the odds we break out of this bear flag tonight? The bear flag? You mean this little one? Like I said, I kind of discount that because of this wick. I don't really think that's a bear flag. But, you know, you got to watch it. Keep an eye on it. Especially if you're trading. If you're day trading, you might be worried about it. Again, I don't day trade. I swing trade. I'm in longs at 11.7. I had longs at 11.1. You can check it out on Discord. For some reason, they didn't fill. Oh, well. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to stay in my 11.7 longs. Kevin Spenson does good analysis. He's a bear, though, man. He was calling for 2,500 all the way up to 7,800 or something. Orlean CS, are there any other YouTubers you recommend to bounce ideas off of for other perspectives? Yeah, man, watch, you know, watch any of them you want. Just don't take any of them, including me, for, you know, gold. Don't, you know, just get different ideas. Kind of put your own things together. See what, what works for this guy and, and what works for this guy. Kind of put your own stuff together. And again, it all depends on, on your, your trade technique, what your goals are. Um, you know, it's mainly about it's mainly about risk to reward and, and knowing how to set stop losses. You know, you could do a bunch of bad trades as long as your stop loss is, is good and put in the right spot, you know, you can you can still make money. Um I don't know. The, the I'm not saying not to watch anybody. I'm saying don't pay none of these guys for any of their shit. Whatever they're giving away free, take it and you know, if you can learn from it, great. But don't pay for their the basic shit they give out, man. All I'm saying. You think we'll break above 11.560 in the next hours? I don't know in the next hours, but I'm sure we'll do it. Might be a damn good night while you're sleep while people in the U.S. are sleeping anyway. Yeah, like I said, watch their free content. If it helps, if you get something out of it, great. But don't don't buy their shield courses, man. All you're doing is giving them your money to learn the same shit you can learn if you just watch a bunch of different people or or search on the internet. There's lots of tutorials on 
on trading and trend lines and Fibonacci and all that stuff. Black Geek, how do you afford or avoid getting stop loss jumped? You mean um, them passing my stop loss? I, you could put laddered stops in. Paul Bear, going to be tempted to jump out end of year and then jump back. Yeah, it's kind of got to see how the market's react, and then it is going to be scary to get out though. And then if the damn thing doesn't drop, that would suck, right? Bell Davis, thanks for your awesome TA as usual. Thanks, appreciate it. No, I don't trade grayscale, Geo. I do not. All right, guys. Um, yeah, just keep keep an eye on those levels that I just showed. Um, you know, don't be surprised if we go back down to the eleven thousand fifty range. I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but don't be surprised if it does. Let's look at the EMAs real quick in the in the one hour. They're definitely turning up, looking bullish. Go to the 15 minutes and see if they cross the. And those are looking bullish also. It's looking good, guys. I'd like to see us get above this uh, 11,560. But yeah, a close above, what I say, 11,480, be a pretty good close for the daily and the weekly. So. Hope you guys have a good night. I will do an update in the morning. And thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. You guys rock. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.